Hey folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. Glad you could be with me. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And what we're going to talk about today is kind of a little, a little hodgepodge of things. We're going to talk about natural ways to fix a lot of your common health care problems. Because all day, every day, people come to me and they say, well, Dr. Joe, I have this, I have that. What would you do for this? What would you suggest I do for that? And I, I love it. It's wonderful. I mean, I can't go in airports, grocery stores. People spot me and say, hey, what would you do for this? And so what I thought, I'd just kind of do a little hodgepodge show today and give you a bunch of tips that you can do to take care of yourself. Because right now, if you have a radio or a television or if you have a, the ability to read, you know that there's a lot of turmoil in the healthcare world. Well, it, they're not talking about health care. They're talking about insurance. I mean, think about that. Everybody's talking about the Health Care Act and the Affordable Health Care Act and changing the Health Care Act and the health care reform. It has nothing to do with health care. It has to do with who's paying for the health care. You have to make the responsible decisions as to what health care you're going to utilize for you, your family, and friends. Because health care is the act of taking care of someone. Health care is not the act of paying for it. So if I can teach you how to take care of yourself, number one, you're going to feel great. Number two, you're going to save a ton of money. People are amazed when they start following my advice and they go, Dr. Joe, I'm saving so much money on food. I'm saving so much money on uh, uh, my doctor bills. I'm, I'm missing less work. I have more energy. I'm able to work overtime and not be exhausted. So I'm making more money. So really when it comes to health care, you have to make these decisions. And that also includes deciding what type of doctor or health care provider you're going to go see. Because not everybody gives the same treatment and not everybody is good at treating everything. You know, I always said if if you go to a barber and ask for a haircut, well, you're going to get a haircut. You might not need a haircut. But if you go to a barber, chances are you're going to get a haircut. So let's talk about some things that you need to consider adding into your life. Now, natural remedies are really on the rise because people are saying, I want to start doing things for myself. And also, I mean, 30 years ago, we didn't have things like the Internet, and people can look things up for good or bad because patients sometimes, many times will come into my offices and say, say to my doctors, well, you know, I've, I looked up online, I think I have this. And then we analyze them and they're not even close. So be careful not to be your own doctor either. So we're going to talk about a lot of fun things you can do. First, what I want to start with is something called oil pulling. And this is a cool one because I had a doctor, I hired her a while ago. And when she first started, uh, she was just getting into the things that I was teaching. And she had a little toothache. And I said, try oil pulling. She goes, what's that? So you take about a tablespoon of, you can use coconut oil or uh, sesame oil, and just swish it around in your mouth for up to 20 minutes. Now, I know that sounds weird. I can't do 20 minutes. I can do about 10 or 15 minutes, and then I start to gag a little bit, and then spit it out. Now, remember, if you're doing this, don't spit the oil down into your sink, because if it's coconut oil, it'll clog up your pipes. So spit it outside, spit it in a trash can, whatever you need to do. And I said, take the oil, swish it around in your mouth, and see if that helps doesn't help you always go to a dentist i mean there's, there's there's always the alternatives so she tried it and after about two or three days she came into the office one day and she said it's amazing my tooth feels so much better and i think my teeth are getting whiter and i said wonderful so she kept doing it and sure enough it helped tremendously and then eventually she did go to a dentist dentist said no you're fine there's nothing wrong uh, i've had a lot of people do oil pulling myself included i have a root canal I'm not happy that I had the root canal done. I wish I'd done what's called a bridge instead, but at the time I didn't know you, the the doctor said, you need a root canal, I did a root canal. And a bridge would have been, I feel for me, a better choice. Now, always talk to your doctor to find out what's gonna be best for you. But with the root canal, they take a, a metal screw, they screw it up into your jaw, and then they put the tooth on top of it. And what happened was, whenever you have this done, you always have a low grade infection. You will forever. Dentists know this, it's not a secret. And my low-grade infection every now and then starts to hurt a little bit. And so I take the oil. I do oil pulling for a couple of days. It goes away. If it doesn't go away, go see your dentist. I'm not saying don't go see your dentist. So we did that. Felt great. And every now and then, I still have to do the oil pulling. So it's wonderful because coconut oil is antibiotic, antiviral, and antifungal. So it kind of gets in the nooks and crannies and cleans out a lot of things that your toothbrush and your floss can't get to. So that's something you might want to consider adding to your daily routine. And it's also very good if you have some bad breath because there's basically two types of bad breath. Well, there's food, which we'll just have to eat garlic and get bad breath. But the other two types would be something wrong with your teeth. And that usually gives you an infection smell. I don't know how to explain that on radio. But the other type is when your breath smells like bowel. Trying to keep it family friendly here. 
But if it smells like a toilet, that's usually a sign of a digestive problem. In fact, I don't know when it's never not a sign of a digestive problem. So what happens is something's wrong with your digestive system. The food is rotting in your colon. The gases that are given off from the rotten food absorb into your bloodstream. They go into your lungs where air is exchanged in your lungs, and then it comes out through your lungs. So if you smell somebody who has potty mouth, it's usually a digestive problem. If it's more of a rotten smell, it's usually a tooth problem. And you can go to a dentist for potty mouth. They're not going to be able to fix it. You can go to, I don't know, me, follow my, you know, my, my advice on health care. Um, but if it's an infected tooth, you need to go see a dentist. So you can try this just to see how it works. It's, it's perfectly safe. And it's very, very effective for a lot of different things, including helping white your teeth in some cases. And that's called oil pulling. Colds and flu. Cold and flu season comes around. People start getting sick. And they say, Dr. Joe, I don't know what to do. Why am I sick? Well, a couple of things I want you to consider. Number one is, are you doing the things to weaken your immune system? And the chances are the answer is yes. Because a lot of times, people will do things that will weaken their immune system. And the number one thing, well, I guess there's a lot of things. I shouldn't say number one, is eat sugar. So sugar weakens your immune system. And my, my most recent book is called Prescription for Extreme Health. We have a chapter on sugar. And one of the things, the research that we, we have in there, is that if you have a regular normal white blood cell, it can usually kill off about 14 pathogens, which are viruses, germs, bacteria, before it dies. If you eat the equivalent of one can of soda, that much sugar, what happens is that same white blood cell can now kill off one pathogen before it dies on average. So essentially, just by drinking a can of soda, you weaken your immune system 14 times, short term. But now you have some sugar, and now suddenly viruses, germs, bacteria, whatever it is that's going to give you your cold or flu, is available to kind of set up shop. The defenses are down. So you really want to cut back, I prefer cut out, all your sugar. That's breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, plain old sugar, sodas, because the sugar is just blowing out your immune system. And it happens all the time. So you really want to stop doing that. So sugar is going to be the one thing you really want to cut back on. Now, alcohol is also a sugar. Now, it's kind of funny to me, fun, not funny, haha, but funny weird, that the time we eat the most amount of sugar, the breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, alcohol, sweet drinks, is in the winter when our immune system is already challenged. We're not getting outside. We're not getting as much exercise. We're not getting sunlight. Sunlight creates what? Vitamin D. There you go. So vitamin D is necessary to keep your immune system strong. So the time we should be eating the least amount of bad foods is the time we eat the most amount of bad foods. And we have things like not getting sunlight. So to keep your immune system strong, from I, I do from fall, from the beginning of fall to the end of spring, I supplement vitamin D. I take 5,000 international units of vitamin D a day. I weigh about 195 pounds. But you're not going to overdose if you're between 1,000, 2,000, 5,000. Now, you start taking 20, 30,000 units a day for extended periods of time, weeks and months on end, that might be too much. But you're not going to hurt yourself at 5,000, what's called IUs or international units. The vitamin D helps your immune system. Vitamin D is also necessary to build bone. Because people come to me all the time. Of course, I'm a chiropractor. I'm board certified in chiropractic, orthopedics, pain management, and double board certified in nutrition. So that's five board certifications. Award-winning author. This radio show is heard coast to coast and around the world. So we're pretty uh, well-versed, and I've been doing this for 32 years, pretty well-versed into what you need to do to get well. And so people come to me all the time and say, well, Dr. Joe, I went to my doctor. I had a bone density test. I have osteopenia, which is the beginning stages of osteoporosis, or they have osteoporosis. And the doctor told me to take calcium. And I said, how long have you been taking it? Six months, two years, five years, whatever. Has the bone density changed? No, it's actually gotten worse. Okay. So you don't need calcium to build bone. You need calcium, magnesium, boron, vitamin D, uh, exercise, stress on the bones. So you've got a lot of things that you need to build up bone mass. And so many times people just think, well, it's one thing. No, 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 no. You need a lot of things to build bone. And just taking one is like just taking baking soda or baking powder, let's say, and expecting to make a cake. Well, you need a lot more ingredients than just a baking powder. Well, I'm going to just have flour. Flour is the main ingredient in my cake. It is. But without all the other little ingredients, it's not going to come out right. Same thing with the bones. And vitamin D is one of the things that so many people are deficient in. 
So vitamin D is really important, especially, like I said, from the beginning of fall to the end of spring. Now, in the summer months, I always try to open my windows, drive up my, roll up my sleeves, open my shirt, try to drive up my sunroof open to try to get as much sunlight as I can on my body to get my vitamin D levels high. You also need vitamin C, and you can get that from fruits and vegetables. That's the best source of vitamin C. Because what happens is people think, well, if I take vitamin C that I bought at the big box store for a dollar for, you know, a thousand tablets, that's going to work. Well, it doesn't because that vitamin C is really something called ascorbic acid in many cases. And ascorbic acid is one-eighth of the vitamin C molecule. It doesn't give you all the, the nutrients that your body needs or the, the bang for your buck, so to speak. So if you're going to take vitamin C, the best source is going to be fruits and vegetables. If you take a vitamin C supplement, make sure it's pure vitamin C and not ascorbic acid. With ascorbic acid, you're going to be very disappointed when you don't get all the results that you want. And you have to take so much ascorbic acid to get a result that you get diarrhea. And so now you're really upset with yourself. So... Vitamin C is important. Um, I take something called Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're sitting right in front of me right here in the studio, as a matter of fact. And it's two powders. And we take uh, the Essential Source, for example, is we take fruits and vegetables, juice them, take the water out at a very low temperature, and what's left is a powder. That powder is now powdered fruits and vegetables produced at a very low temperature, so none of the nutrients or enzymes are destroyed. Then we add prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, and a complete multivitamin. Now we have Dr. Joe's Essential Source. It's about 10 servings of raw fruits and vegetables in every scoop. Then I add super greens to that, which is alkalizing the system. Uh, wheatgrass, barleygrass, alfalfa grass, chlorella, and spirulina, which are great sources of omega-3 fatty acids. And then we add dulse, which is a great source of iodine. And I mix a scoop of each. I take coconut milk or almond milk, shake it up, and I drink it at least once a day. Now, as a single man, if I'm going on a date, if I'm going hiking, if I got a big lecture coming up, if I got to do back-to-back lectures, radio, TV, I'll take a double dose on those days just to make sure I'm getting all the nutrients my body needs to work the best it can, and it's in a plant-based form. No animal products. So it's very safe. That's my way of keeping my immune system strong. The vitamin D, and then I take the super greens, the essential source, uh, which has, by the way, a great, so- great source of vitamin C. So we really want to avoid the sugars and eat more green leafy vegetables, salads, and raw food. Raw food is broccoli, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados, because raw food has in it something called enzymes. And enzymes can help attack the viruses, germs, and bacteria and destroy them. So you have your immune system, but also the enzymes. And the enzyme levels are, need to be higher, especially as we get older, because when you're young, you produce enzymes. Your liver, your pancreas, your saliva, you're making enzymes, and it's excellent because it keeps you strong. It helps repair damage to the body. As we get older, our enzyme levels drop. That's called aging. And so as we start to age, we want to keep those enzyme levels up, and we do that very simply by eating raw fruits and vegetables and taking things like Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Not hard, easy, very inexpensive for what you're getting, and most people swear by it. In fact, I had a, a patient come in the other day. We ran out of essential source. Our shipment got delayed. So this fellow's been taking it for, I don't know, 10 years now. And he comes into the office, and uh, he works at a, a, a business not far from one of my offices. And he says, Dr. Joe, he says, he looked at me. He's older fellow. He looked real mean at me. He goes, you ran out of essential source for a couple of days. I said, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. He says, I tell you what, man, I was feeling great. I had energy. He says, in the past five days, I just feel the difference. He says, good thing you got this stuff back in. He smiles. He makes a fist at me. He goes, don't you ever run out again. So it really is amazing what happens when people start putting the nutrients in their body that the body needs. They're fascinated because the body starts to work at such a higher level. And they say, wow, I feel good. I have energy. My love life improves. I sleep better. My digestion's better. I'm losing weight. Yeah, that's what's what's called being healthy. And most of us have never experienced that before. And when we finally do, it's a whole new world to experience health. So I say in order to obtain and maintain health, so you don't have to fix a lot of healthcare problems because you don't get them, is you have to have a normally functioning nervous system, a normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. Now, as a chiropractor, my team of doctors, our job is to make sure the nervous system is working. So if you have a pinched nerve, you might have pain, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, but 90% of your nerves don't feel pain. These are the nerves that go to the organs. 
So if I pinch a nerve to my liver, my spleen, my kidneys, my gallbladder, my prostate, those organs aren't going to be working at 100% of their capabilities. And it's very easy to fix by getting the bones lined up, unpinching the nerves. And not only in most cases does it help the pain, it opens up the nerves to the organs. And people are happy when their organs work. This is why chiropractic is looked at, it used to be looked at just for back pain, but now most people understand it's actually a healthcare plan. And it's not just getting your back cracked, so to speak. It's getting the pressure off the nerves. Because you could have a pinched nerve and not know it. Then you have to have a normally functioning digestive system, acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating. These are signs that something's wrong. And many times you need to adjust, we call it, or massage the stomach or the, or the intestine to get it to relax. And then we have a good diet. That's what we call Jobamacare. Uh, actually, a health care plan, not an insurance plan, a health care plan. It really is insurance, too. You're insuring yourself that you don't get sick. So, folks, if you do want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. My team of doctors are ready to meet with you. And you can go to my website to make an appointment, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. And we will set you up a time to come see us. We accept patients with all insurances. We accept patients without insurance, car accidents, sports injuries. It's funny. Every, almost every day somebody comes into my offices and they'll say to the doctors, I got in an accident and I heard Dr. Joe in the back of my head saying, if the car was damaged, you were damaged. 100% of the time. And they'll say, I would have never thought to get myself checked. And when we check them, we find the damage. And they're so thankful. Because the sooner you fix an injury, whether it's a car accident or just lifting boxes, the faster it's going to heal and the better results most people get. So again, if you want to make an appointment, drjoesposito.com. Just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. And you can do it online or give us a call. So we're talking today about uh, ways to fix common health care problems. And chiropractic, of course, is a big part of that. Because if the body is healthy, if the nervous system is healthy and the digestive system is healthy and you're taking good nutrients into your body, at least Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, preferably a whole dietary workup, the body gets well faster and people are happy and then you're happy and everyone around you is happy and you save money because you're not spending money on medication. I'm not against medications. Please understand that. If I need medications, I'm the first one to take them. But You save money because you don't need them. You save money on doctor bills. You save money on on missing time from work if the body is healthy. I don't see a downside to this. I believe, preacher here, I'm getting on my soapbox here, that in this turmoil of of the healthcare environment that we're in right now, we're going to have a hero rise up. That hero is going to be natural healthcare. I really believe this in my heart because natural health care saves money, saves time. And then because we're going into a doctor shortage because doctors don't want to do this anymore, trust me. I know a lot of doctors, nobody wants to be a doctor anymore because it's too much work. The insurance companies are just ridiculous on what they're doing. It's every time I think it can't get worse, it can't get more insane billing an insurance company, it gets 10 times worse. And so doctors are saying, I quit. I'm done. Doctors are not going to school. Enrollment is dropping in medical schools, chiropractic schools, because people just don't want to do it anymore. So something is going to have to fill this void. And I believe it's going to be natural health care. Nutrition, hopefully things like chiropractic, getting the digestive system working, supplements. It's going to happen. It's happening. I shouldn't even say it's going to happen. It's happening. And as it comes to fruition, you will say, Dr. Joe was right. He's absolutely right. He, I understand now what he was talking about. So more things that you can do naturally to get yourself well. Ladies, if you have premenstrual syndrome issues, try magnesium. Magnesium is a key to easing PMS symptoms for women. And foods like almonds, sunflower seeds, greens like spinach, broccoli are excellent sources of magnesium. One of the problems we have is that we're extremely deficient in magnesium in our society. And the reason is this. Not only do we not eat foods like almonds and sunflower seeds and green leafy vegetables and broccolis, but we eat a lot of sugar. Back to that darn sugar. And so what happens with sugar is sugar gets into your system and it causes the body to release insulin. Part of the insulin molecule is magnesium. But we're not getting enough magnesium in our diet and we're wasting, for lack of a better word, magnesium because we're making insulin to deal with the sugar issue, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. And so a lot of people are deficient in magnesium and they'll have things like muscle spasms and they'll have uh, cramping, they'll have fatigue, uh, they'll have high blood pressure. Because high blood pressure to blood vessels or muscles, they need to relax to drop the blood pressure down. If you're eating a lot of sugar, you're using a lot of insulin, 
wasting a lot of magnesium, the blood vessels can't relax. They stay tight. Blood pressure goes up. I did a show a while ago on the fact that it's not so much salt. Well, salt is too much salt is bad unless it's air dried sea salt. But what we're finding now is that too much sugar can raise your blood pressure because the sugar wastes magnesium. Did you follow all that? I don't want to lose you. I know I talked a lot of, a lot, a lot of chemistry there. So it's really a bad thing to eat the sugar. You want to eat less sugar for many, many reasons. And if you have PMS, absolutely positively, or muscle cramping or high blood pressure, you got to cut out the sugar. If you have indigestion, acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, so many patients come into our offices and talk to our doctors, and they're taking uh, these uh, uh, medications for the acid reflux and heartburn. Those medications, a lot of them prevent you from absorbing calcium, B12, iron, and magnesium. And they lower your stomach acid. Well, the problem with lowering the stomach acid is you need stomach acid to digest your proteins. And so if you don't have enough stomach acid because you diluted it with medication, the proteins aren't being digested. They get into your small intestine. They rot. They can tear holes in your intestine, cause leaky gut syndrome, allergies, runny nose. They don't treat the cause. They treat the symptoms. Now, if you have a symptom, treat it, but then get to the cause as well. And so many times when you have digestive problems, the stomach, which is supposed to sit what's called below what's called your diaphragm, it pushes up into your diaphragm. And when it pushes up into the diaphragm, now the stomach spasms and you can't digest food properly. And the acid comes up into the esophagus. So what we need to do is adjust or manually manipulate and pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm. When we test our patients on this, about 85% of the patients have some form of this. And when we adjust or manually manipulate the stomach, the small intestine, the large intestine, just basically massaging it, for lack of a better word, it's a little more sophisticated than that, the body starts to respond and people, they want to name their kids after you. When their acid reflux goes away, and the problem with acid reflux is the acid can irritate the esophagus and lead to things like esophageal cancer, chronic cough, sinus problems, eat away at your throat. Singers many times have this condition and they lose, they lose their ability to sing not a good thing. So it's really important that you take care of your digestive system and you throw junk in there all day, every day. I am amazed at the junk you throw into your digestive system. Alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas. That's not food. That's filler. And those fillers have to try, the body has to try to break them down, utilize what little nutrients are in there, pass out the waste products, if, the, if there's toxins in there, it's stored as toxins. It gets into the fat cells, gets into the liver, gets into the brain. Why are you abusing yourself so much? I mean, people come to us all the time with pain, back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain. And I always say, how long have you had it? 95% of the patients, two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years. God, I hurt myself when I was in high school football, and now I'm 62 years old. And I say, why did you suffer so long? And the answer is always, I don't know. Or, or I didn't know what to do. Until I heard your radio shows, until I read your books, until I listened to your blogs on your website, I didn't know that there was an answer. And we want to be your answer, folks. At least Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source for the nutritional component. But neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, you really want to get that checked. Pain, look at it this way. Pain is a warning sign. It's telling you something's wrong. It's like an alarm going off. And if you ignore that alarm, that's not a good thing. Because the alarm is saying, hey, something's wrong, fix me. So think about your healthcare problems and think, how long have I had them? Could I fix them? And if there was a way to fix them, should I do it now? And the answer is a resounding 100% without a doubt, yes. The faster you fix it, the less likely you are to have permanent damage. Now, folks, if you want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. My doctors are ready to meet with you. Go to our website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. We'll set you up a time to come in. Uh, we'll discuss your condition. If we can help you, we'll tell you. If we don't think we can help you, we'll tell you that too. We don't want to waste your time. We don't want to waste our time. If you make an appointment, make sure you show up because very few things in, in my business is more annoying than us reserving a room for you, putting it aside, having staff ready to treat you, and you don't show up. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it messes with everyone's schedule. Second thing, be ready to make some changes. If you're just a looky-loo, you have a question, send it to me through my email, drjoesposito.com. Uh, and you can send me an email uh, through there, and I'll answer it. But if you're ready to get well, we accept people with all insurances, no insurances, car accidents, sports injuries, 
Go to my website. Stop waiting. Stop suffering needlessly. The website again, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. Hey, tell your friends about the show. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Hey, folks, thanks for staying around. I appreciate that. I am Dr. Joe Esposito. Appreciate you taking time out of your day to be with us. And today what we're talking about are natural ways to fix common health care problems. Because you, at this time more than ever probably in, in, in recent history, you need to start taking responsibility for your own health. There was a time when you would say, well, I have a health problem. I'm going to dress up nice, brush my hair, brush my teeth, take a shower, and go see my doctor. Well, those days are gone. Because now to get an appointment is challenging. Your insurances, which is ridiculous, uh, don't cover hardly anything anymore. I don't even know why people have insurance, to be honest with you. It's so ironic that you're forced to have insurance, yet it covers nothing. So why are you forced to have something that covers nothing? Well, it covers almost nothing, I should say. Every now and then you hear a story. Yes, I'm glad I had my insurance. But most people, and believe me, I've been practicing for 32 years and in the past several years, people are like, why am I paying these outrageous premiums to get almost nothing? And I said, I agree with that. That's why I want to teach you to start taking care of yourself. So let's talk about some things that you can do to take care of yourself. If you have anxiety, how many people have anxiety? Raise your hands. How many people are too stressed out to raise their hands? I know, exactly. It's a big problem. I mean, I, I try, I'm not making light of it. I understand it's a real issue. But no one ever talks about why. Why is your brain malfunctioning? And there's many reasons. But by far, the most common reason I see is people have a digestive problem. I was the guest speaker at a major university last week, and the the students went nuts. They had never heard anything like this before. And in fact, it came time for a break, and it was funny. And I said, all right, so a teacher told me I have to give you guys a 10-minute break. Nobody moved. They said, no. They all yelled out, no, keep going. So for an hour and 45 minutes, I, I spoke. Wasn't supposed to speak that long. And at the end of the class, they got a standing ovation, and uh, students rushed, and they wanted to talk to me. And so finally, when it all settled down, the teacher came up to me. She said, I have never seen students not want to take a break in all my career. She said, that's just amazing. She said, thank you for giving this information. Because the students and the doctors are just desperate for information to treat conditions that they're really stumped with, and anxiety is, being, is one of them. So the number one reason I find in my practices and my doctors as well is there's a digestive problem. Your stomach's job is to take proteins and break them into something called amino acids. Now, the amino acid tryptophan, once it's broken down in the stomach, combines with vitamin B6 and creates a chemical called 5-HTP. 5-HTP becomes serotonin in your brain and in your digestive system. 95% of the serotonin in your body is not used in your brain. It's used in your digestive system. So if you're not producing enough serotonin and your digestive system wants 95% and the brain wants 5%, the brain is going to suffer. So is the digestive system, but the digestive system is going to get most of it. Serotonin, uh, the the neurotransmitter serotonin helps calm you down and focus because 5-HTP becomes serotonin. And serotonin helps you focus. Serotonin becomes melatonin, which helps you sleep. So a lot of people that have anxiety or anxiety, depression, uh, ADD, ADHD, uh, antisocial also have sleep disorders. And the reasoning in many cases is that the body is not breaking down the proteins into amino acids to produce the 5-HTP, to produce the serotonin, produce the melatonin, and now you suffer. So we can give you medication, and sometimes that's necessary, don't get me wrong, to help utilize the little bit of serotonin that we have, or what if we just make more serotonin? I like that. I like that approach, Dr. Joe. Good. So ask yourself this question. Do you have an emotional disorder? And do you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, stinky stools? Are you ticklish? Especially around your rib cage because you're protecting your digestive system because it's not working. Your body's pretty smart. It's much smarter than you. And so if you have these symptoms, we may need to go in there and actually massage or gently pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm. The number one article on my website, by far, that's read and downloaded is gastroesophageal reflux disease, heartburn, indigestion, and GERD, G-E-R-D. Now, if you go to my website, go under blogs, and it'll have uh, blogs, and then it'll have Dr. Joe's articles. And you click on Dr. Joe's articles, and it'll bring you to all my articles that I've written. A lot of good articles in there. And by the way, I write articles very short. Even my books are written in very choppy. 
And the reason is, if you want to continue on to the next thought, great. If you don't, you can stop there. Because I understand today's society, we have this short attention span. And so it's, I, I, I address that, and I give you what you need. Now, we also archive our radio shows and our, our lectures. I, I, I record a lot of live lectures, and I put them on my website as well, because some people are visual learners. So you can watch lectures, or we have hundreds and hundreds of hours of podcast radio shows on the website as well, so you can listen there if you'd like. Because what happens is people start to hear this, and I know a lot of you may be listening for the first time today uh, all around the world, and you'll say, wow, this is amazing stuff. Where can I get more of this? Go to my website, drjoesposito.com, just Google Dr. Joe, hundreds of hours of shows, and the cost for all that is my gift to you, no charge. And a lot of times, doctors and consultants will come to me and say, well, Dr. Joe, you're being ridiculous. You can be charging if everybody paid five cents a show. Think how much money you'd have or a dollar a show. Think how much money you'd have. Yeah, but then you, some people wouldn't get this information. And to me, at this time in my career, uh, that's not what I want. I want everyone to get this information. So the website's there 24 hours a day, drjoesposito.com. Just Google Dr. Joe. You can also order the Super Greens, the essential source. We have something called an intestinal cleanser. If your bowels are not moving two to three times a day, you need that as well to get the bowels moving. Uh, we have cold and flu tonic, immune booster to keep the immune system strong. Lots of good stuff on the website. Back to anxiety. I, I got sidetracked there. So if the stomach is pushed up against the diaphragm and spasm, it's not digesting the proteins. Massage the stomach away from the diaphragm. Stomach breaks proteins into amino acids. You start producing the neurotransmitters, and a lot of that anxiety goes away. Tyrosine is another amino acid. Tyrosine becomes a, a dopamine in your brain. Dopamine is the neurotransmitter that gives you pleasure. So when we have anxiety and depression and ADD and ADHD, we're also not experiencing a lot of life's pleasures, whether it's romance or a good meal or going for a walk or a movie or music. And you say, well, you know, I just don't enjoy things like I used to. Probably a digestive component. Not always. There's other things involved, but this is the most common and the easiest to fix. And then we get people on a good, easy-to-digest protein, like plant-based proteins, and we start to see amazing things happen. Now, a lot of people come to me and say, well, Dr. Joe, do I need to take a protein powder? And I'm a vegan, so they come to me all the time. Where do you get your protein from? Number one question by far we get. And I really need to just print up an answer and just hand it out because I get that question several times a day. You don't need a lot of protein. It's a fallacy. You need about 8 to 10% of your total intake from food as protein. A carrot is about 4 to 6%. So plants have plenty of protein in them. And think about it. Where do horses get their protein? Or elephants or giraffes or hippopotami? Hippopotami? Hippopotamuses? I don't know. Um, where do they get their protein from? They're big. They're strong. They live the longest of all the animals. And they're plant-based. So there's plenty of protein in plants. Trust me on that. I've been a, a vegan for over 30 years. I have no problem with keeping muscle mass. It's not an issue. So... For anxiety, try to consider that it may be a digestive component, which is a physical problem compounded with a chemical problem leading to a neurological problem. So you got to fix the cause and not just treat the symptoms if your goal is to get well. So we're talking today about natural things that you can do to get well and stay well, some natural remedies. Headaches. People come to us all the time with headaches, and there's usually two components that could be into play. One is physical and one is chemical. So, for example, I can't eat caffeine or any type of stimulant, chocolate, coffee, tea, any type of stimulant, caffeine, bromine, theobromine, isotheobromine, because what's happening is when I put it in my body, I get this blazing headache, and that's not where I want to be. So I don't eat the caffeine because it gives me this blazing headache. So I try to cut out the caffeine as quickly as I can. Uh, If I have any, I know where it came from. Also, I can't do textured soy proteins. So things like uh, fake meats. I'm a vegan, so I try these fake meats sometimes. And that'll give me a blazing headache as well. So I try to avoid that at all costs because I know that's a chemical reaction. Physically, as a chiropractor, we look at pinched nerves, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain. If we have a pinched nerve in the neck, that can cause the nerves up into the head to, to be pinched, and that can cause headaches. There's a nerve called the greater occipital nerve. It comes right out from behind your ear and goes up into your head. And when that gets pinched, we have problems. So if we're pinching a nerve going up into the head, sometimes you get it right at the base behind your ear. It goes right around to your eye. That's called the greater occipital nerve. So then we have to fix physically. And chiropractically, we usually get very good results with headache patients because many times it's physical. And then we look at the chemical, and then we find out, is there a nutritional deficiency? Maybe there's a magnesium deficiency. 
Muscles are spasming. Then we have to fix that as well. So again, I want you to understand where these things are coming from and what you need to do to fix them. Because it's not a game, folks. Pain is a very serious issue. And you, you, you hear on news now the, 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 the drug overdoses, the opioids, people taking opioids because they have pain. They take the opioids to deal with the pain. And then they can't get off the opioids because once you start getting artificial uh, painkillers in your body, the pain is reduced and your body stops producing its own natural painkillers. Then when you come off the painkillers, any little thing is severe pain. And that's why it's a very, very serious issue. And for all the newscasts I'm hearing, nobody's talking about pain management and treating the cause of the pain. I'm board certified in pain management. I think I might be the only chiropractor in my state who's board certified in pain management. And we do it from a non-drug approach, of course. And many times I'll be at conferences and the doctors will come up to me and say, Dr. Joe, they'll call me Joe. I mean, they'll say, Joe, we're stumped. We got this patient. He's got back pain, neck pain, sciatic pain. We've tried everything. We've given him three injections into the spine. You can only give three in one area because you might develop osteoporosis. We don't know what else to do. What would you do? And then I discuss the physical components, the chemical components. Wow, I never thought about that. They'll go back and try it. And many times they'll call me up and say, hey, that was brilliant. Thank you. Because it's not what's taught. What's taught is if you have pain, take a medication. Not against that. But I believe that these other approaches should be taught as well so that a doctor has a, a, a bag of tricks. You know what? The, the, the pain mat, the drugs aren't working. The injections didn't work. Let's try chiropractic. Okay, the chiropractic is working, but maybe we do need some medication to get the person to come out of spasm so that the adjustment works better. Maybe they have arthritis, and we're going to send them to somebody who can do stem cell injections. This is the new research in regenerative medicine where we take stem cells and inject it into a joint to help regenerate the joint. Fascinating stuff. And many times we can avoid surgery with that. Not always. But to me, I always say, let's do the conservative approach first. Let's try the nutrition you can do. You don't need, just listen to my shows and do what I say. Supplements, you want to go to my website, Super Greens, an essential source, absolute minimum. If we need to do a whole nutritional workup on you, we can do that as well. But the Super Greens, the essential source of the minimum amount of nutrients. Then we do the chiropractic work. Then we make massage the stomach. And then we do some trigger point work, some muscle relaxation. Then maybe we start adding yoga into that if, if we're still not getting where we want to go. Gentle stretching. We could always have the surgery. Surgery is always an option. But in most cases, if we get to the cause, we don't have to go to that extreme. Because that's my concern is I don't want you going to those crazy extremes. So for headaches, start looking at the chemical components and the physical components. You might also have a reaction to aspartame, artificial sweetener. Number one side effect of artificial sweetener is headaches. Dehydration is a big one. I can't tell you how many patients come to us and I say, listen, are you drinking any water? No. Are you drinking any fluids? Well, just soda or milk. Okay, let's get you drinking water. They start drinking water. They rehydrate themselves. And it's just, wow, it's a miracle. So many times it's things that you're doing, but you don't know that you're doing it. Now let's, let's, uh, let's touch on obesity real quick. If we're overweight, you're not, when you're hungry, you're not hungry for food. You're hungry for nutrition. So when you give the body a high nutritious uh, component, high nutritional value foods, many times that resolves the issue. You start eating healthy foods, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, getting on a nutritional protocol. People say, I'm not as hungry as I used to be. I want you to drink more water because when you're hungry, many times you're not hungry for food. You're hungry for water. Same part of your brain that controls hunger controls thirst as an adult. And if you start drinking water, many times the body says, oh, that's all I wanted. I didn't want food. I just wanted some water. Thank you. So drink water. That should help too. Remember something when it comes to losing weight. It takes 20 minutes to get the message from your stomach to your brain. And if you're eating for 20 minutes straight, you'll start to feel full. If you eat a snack, wait 20 minutes and then have a meal, you're going to eat a whole lot less food. The stomach has to produce leptin. Leptin gets into the blood system, goes into the hypothalamus in the brain. The hypothalamus says, I'm full. So if you can do that, you'll be fascinated. You'll feel so much better by just having a snack before every meal, and chances are you lose weight, and you have to eat more fiber. Your bowel should be moving two to three times a day. A day, not a week, a day. If they're not moving two to three times a day, chances are you have constipation. You're not eating enough plant-based foods, which should be your whole diet. And we have something called Dr. Joe's Intestinal Cleanser. That's on my website. And you can do Dr. Joe's Intestinal Cleanser to get the bowels moving, but then get to a good plant-based, high-fiber diet 
and you won't need that supplement anymore. It's a real cheap supplement. It's like $20 for, I don't know, 100 pills. So it's not a lot of money, but I don't want you taking it if you don't need it. And most people, when they change their diet, get their nervous system working properly, and get their stomach working properly, don't need it. So if you have a pinched nerve in your low back, that can be affecting your bowels, your colon, your sex organs, your bladder. And so getting pinched nerves in the back fixed opens up the nerve supply to the colon, sex organs, and bladder. Nerves in the neck control the heart, the lungs, the liver, the spleen as we start getting lower in the spine, the kidneys, the adrenal glands, and we want those organs working properly. That's where chiropractic comes in. So this is why chiropractic, I really believe, is going to be the hero that rises up out of this mess and says, okay, here's your answer. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get people well so they don't need to go to the doctor so much. And then when they do need to go to the doctor, the few doctors that are left are going to be able to see the patients. It's a good plan to me as far as I'm concerned. If you'd like to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. You can go to my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world, and we would be more than happy to set you up a time to come see us. We accept people with all insurances. We accept people without insurance, car accidents, sports injuries. My, my mantra here, one of my mantras, if the car was damaged in an accident, you were damaged 100% of the time. And many times people say, I was in the accident, had a little soreness, I went to the hospital, took some pills, I felt okay. And then two, three, five, six weeks later, the pain comes back, they go to the doctor, the insurance company says, well, you weren't really hurt in the accident because you didn't go to the doctor right away. So we're not going to pay you. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, it really is bullying. It's, real, it's, a, it's a, the most obvious source of bullying I've ever seen. Insurance companies deciding what people's health should be. Not the doctors, the insurance companies. So if you're taking care of yourself and treating yourself conservatively, chances are that you're not going to need a whole lot more treatment. So if you want to make an appointment, again, go to our website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. I want you to stop suffering needlessly. So we're talking more about things that you can do to take care of yourself, nat- you know, home remedies and co- common uh, natural fixes for health care. We talked about vitamin D a lot on this show, and I want you to make sure that when you get your blood work done, test your vitamin D levels. Now, chances are you're going to be low. Unless you're getting a lot of sun or, get, or taking supplements or eating foods that are high in vitamin D, um, you want to take supplements. As a vegan, and I, I eat mostly raw, I probably eat about 60% raw, I take supplements every day. I take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, which are essentially raw. Most of the ingredients are raw. Uh, then in the winter, I'll take vitamin D as well. I also take omega-3 fatty acids. I take algae because algae is a plant-based omega-3 fatty acid, but it's the only plant-based omega-3 that's in the form that your body needs. So it's important that you understand that if you're taking omega-3s, and especially if you're a vegan, that you try to get what's called the DHA and EPA form. Plants are in the ALA form, which converts into the DHA and the EPA, but not very well. So In order to get all the nutrients that you need, I take algae oil. You can do fish oil, which I don't recommend because it runs the risk of mercury. And there are some companies that are very good about cleaning the mercury out. Krill oil is a better choice because krill is in a phospholipid form, easier to digest, easier to absorb. And then the algae oil, I take that. It's the most expensive, but because I'm a vegan, that's the kind I take. Now, I save so much money when it comes to food, that I have leftover money to be exorbitant and buy crazy things like algae oil. Woohoo! I went to dinner the other night with two of my friends, uh, with Damon and Larry, and I ordered a vegan meal, and mine was the cheapest thing on the menu. It was $9.95. Their meals, by the time they got all their stuff and everything, were about $15, $16. So I saved $6 on my meal, so that's 30% of the cost of the meal. And I don't go out a whole lot because I like to cook at home. And if you don't know what to make, people always say, I don't know what to make, Dr. Joe. My first book that I ever wrote was great for you. It's called uh, uh, Eating Right for the Health of It. And Eating Right for the Health of It is a great guide on what to eat. It has recipes in it, simple, how to prepare for breakfast, lunches, dinner, snacks, raising kids. Great book. It's on my website, drjoesposito.com. My second book, Prescription for Extreme Health, is a, more like a guideline on how to get healthy. You know, the nervous system, digestive system, exercise, nutrition, everything is all there, too. So consider these things when it comes to uh, issues. Eczema, skin, rash, skin issues. When you have skin rashes, it's almost always a liver issue. So what I do with my eczema patients is I get them off the two biggest offenders. That would be wheat and dairy products. 
So wheat and dairy, dairy is the number one food allergen, wheat is number two. And it was interesting, I was watching a news report the other day, and they were talking about acne and how acne is a big deal. And, uh, you know, with social media, people, you know, will, will bully you. And they're talking about laser treatments and everything. And then they said, just one time, they said, but most people respond extremely well with acne problems when they give up dairy. And then they moved on. Laser treatments, medications, drugs. And I thought, wait a minute, what did I just hear? What I just heard you say was most people respond very well to giving up dairy. Why don't you just say that? And then if it doesn't work, then you can do the laser treatments and the creams and the medications. And I understand the social pressure for having acne. But if we give up the dairy and I say the weed as well, that helps tremendously with skin conditions. You can soak in a magnesium bath salt. Epsom salts is the brand name there. And if you soak in that, the magnesium can get into the skin and help tremendously. Going to a plant-based diet is great for skin conditions as well because it's very rare I find somebody who's on a plant-based diet that has a skin condition. If you're stressed out, we talked about anxiety a while ago, but if you have a lot of stress, you want to do two things right away. Number one, you got to give up the caffeine. That's coffee, tea, uh, chocolate, mate, which is a tea that has mateine, which is similar to caffeine. You got to give up the caffeine. Number two, you got to drink more water. And that's going to help tremendously. I think you're going to be thrilled with that. Now, if you're drinking a lot of caffeine, what happens is caffeine blocks up something in your brain called adenosine receptor sites. Adenosine is a chemical that's released in your brain that gets absorbed through adenosine receptor sites and it calms you down and makes you sleep. If you drink caffeine, caffeine looks like adenosine. So it blocks up the adenosine receptor sites and now you can't absorb the adenosine. So caffeine doesn't give you energy. It just prevents you from getting tired. Does that make sense? And so you, your body is smarter than you, and it says, wait a minute, I need to rest, so I'm going to produce more adenosine receptor sites. And then you need more caffeine to block up the adenosine receptor sites. Did you follow all that? And so as you start to come off the caffeine, many times as the brain starts to heal, you'll get headaches. You've got to drink a lot of water. And in my first book, we talk about taking a tablespoon of coffee every hour. No cream, no sugar. A tablespoon of coffee every hour, and that'll give you just enough to let the brain get a little bit of drug and let it heal. And many times when we're stressed out, we're deficient in nutrients because when we're stressed, we're burning up a lot of nutrition. So that's where I recommend Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. It really fits in a lot of different places. So I would suggest that everybody try Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Very inexpensive for what you're getting. And most people, once they take it for a month, they're going, oh, my gosh, this stuff is just amazing. And they're two powders. I mix it with, like, coconut milk or almond milk, and I drink it at least once a day. And those are on my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, along with my books and my articles and my archive radio shows, my blogs, uh, my uh, podcasts, videotapes of my lectures, a lot of good stuff on the website. And it's all there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if you have questions, by the way, you can send me your questions through the website as well because a lot of people um, don't know who to turn to. And I'll answer your questions for you. I'm more than happy to do that for you. Now, here's the thing, folks. I'm willing to answer a question or two for you. But some people take advantage. They start sending me three, four, five, six questions. And then I just say, hey, listen, you know what? If you have this many problems, you need to come see my doctors. And that usually calms them down a little bit then. Or they come see us. Um, but, you know, if you're just looking for free advice, I'm more than happy to help you a little bit. But don't take advantage of me because I, I just don't have time. I'm more than happy to help you, and I'll do what I can, but you, you got to help me out too. People come to us with pain a lot, sore muscles. Once again, it could be a magnesium issue. could be a pinched nerve. A lot of times you'll have shoulder pain, neck pain, shooting pain down your leg, and they'll say, what can I take for that? Well, it's probably a physical component, at least, not a chemical component. And until you put the bones back in place – chances are you're not going to get the results you want, and then you're going to say, well, I took that supplement. It didn't help. Well, it didn't help because that wasn't the whole problem. You treated one, one tire in your car when all four of them needed to be realigned. I shouldn't even say this. All right, I'm coming toward the end. Uh, hangovers, one of the best things for hangovers, coconut water and bananas and a lot of fluids. So I'm going to leave it at that. So, folks, uh, if, if you enjoyed the show, go to my website, drjoesposito.com. Listen to other shows. We're there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you want to make an appointment to come see us, and I think you should, go to my website, drjoesposito.com, and just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world, and we will set you up a time to come see us. We accept people with all insurances. We accept people without insurance, car accidents, sports injuries, workers' comp. Our goal is to get to the cause of your health care problems 
and not just treat the symptoms. Acid reflux, heartburn, we may have to adjust the stomach, get you on a good supplement protocol if you need it. We get you on a good diet plan so that you now have the tools and the skill to take in, take control of your own health. Because the future is not good when it comes to healthcare, folks. I promise you this. I've been at this a long time. You need to take control of your health. The website again, drjoesposito.com. Just Google Dr. Joe. Thanks for listening. We'll catch you next time.